Nancy Weaver. I've been with Red Clay or was with Red Clay for uh, 15 years, 35 years in education and uh, ended my tenure uh, at William C. Lewis Elementary, dual language elementary. Education is in my family. I was the third generation. My grandmother, who uh, taught seventh grade math, uh, my mother, who was a first grade teacher, and myself, who's taught all grades between K and 12 at some point or another, our daughter, uh, who taught elementary, and now our granddaughter is teaching. So we are an education family. Uh, my philosophy would be, I've seen diagrams uh, that suit this with the child in the center and then the concentric circles that uh, go around it. Beyond the child is, well, the teacher and the parent, although in many cases, or most cases, the teachers spend more time with the uh, children than uh, the parents do, and then the administration. The administrator, mostly, I felt like my task was to make it possible for the teacher to teach whatever needed to be done to provide that environment where they could freely uh, work with the children and not have to be concerned with many other tasks that, that they do have to do now. <laughs> Particularly at Lewis, uh, we formed a very collegial staff that worked together for children, both those who were native Spanish speakers and those who were native English speakers, in trying to teach each of them a second language, or being able to uh, communicate, read and write, be literate in two languages. And I just feel like that was just, it was an awesome group of, of teachers. We, we worked very well together. Kids are great. You know, I, we should have written them all down, I guess, when we when we do. I think about Art Linklater and kids say the darndest things, but I remember one when I was at Conrad, I was teaching at Conrad, and I had a young man who sat near my desk uh, for obvious reasons. He needed a little more uh, guidance, a little more focus, um, and I would wear my high heels out to lunch duty, and then when I came back in the class, the students would do the uh, warm-up, we called it back then. I think it's a do now at this point in time. And uh, so I would sit at my desk while they were doing this and change out of my um, high heels into my sneakers. And this young man looked over at me and he said, Mrs. Weaver, do you know who you remind me of? Uh, no. <laughs> Always afraid to ask a question. And he says, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> so, and then there, there are just other ones that, that kids just, they're, they're honest. They tell you what they're thinking. And it may not be what you want to hear. It may not be complimentary, but it's always fun. It's always fun. I'm very humbled. Education has obviously been my life. I love kids, and that's why I'm still doing what I can do, so I can be in schools and be near teachers and, and children and see what's happening because they are definitely our future.